Hey guys, I just wanted to give you guys a look at the Trust Fire XML 1600. Uh, it's the CREE bulb, which basically means it's a really, really bright LED, the square type. Um, I'm not sure the technical term, except for I guess CREE is the technical term. Um, 20 bucks for the flashlight, another 10 bucks for the rechargeable batteries along with a charger. Um, and then another ten dollars if you want the pressure switch. Um, I went ahead and put all forty dollars down uh, But I've been using it without the pressure switch lately um, Just because I like having the push button for my thumb when it's mounted on the front of my SR10 Anyway, um, just give you guys a quick look here So you can see That bulb a little bit with the projector housing now the front end slides out more focused and then a little bit of a bigger spread there um, comes with the mount for your rails um, I put this one on my on my SR10 up in the front left for my hand to grip anyway um, I'm gonna flip off the lights here real quick and show you what it looks like got to turn out this light too so completely dark and this is the brightest setting now um, it lights up the whole room you can see the bright that's that's unfocused and then if I focus it, it gets in a little bit wider at about 20 feet the, a little bit wider than a human shoulder width so I actually run this on the front of my SR10 and when we clear houses in the dark um, I use this as my point and shoot, so if I see light on the target, I know I'm going to hit it. Um, now you can do all the in-betweens, and so when you're clearing buildings in the dark, we did a couple shoot houses like that. Um, it's very useful because everybody on your team can see. Now that's the highest brightness setting, here's a medium brightness, and a low brightness. So. Um, I mean that's that's the lowest it goes then strobe we've cleared a few buildings like this before um, very hard for the enemy to shoot back so that was kind of fun and then uh, SOS so yeah so I'll just finish this review well flip the light back on because it's hard to do a review with the uh, with the light of the flashlight shining on itself. But anyway, very good build quality. I wish that the, uh, the telescoping part here, the part that slides in and out, you can kind of hear. It sounds like it's a little bit um, not too high quality, but the, the material, the metal it's made out of is very good quality. And the glass on the front is good quality as well as the bulb. Uh, rechargeable battery lasts quite some time, though after about a week or two of storage, You'll need to recharge them again, but uh, for a whole op, had no issues with low battery um, at all. So, uh, this flashlight, you could see how much it lit up a room. It goes for a good 150, 200 feet, so I went out and shot into a field, and this actually works just about as good as any tracer unit that you can buy. Um, the only thing is everybody else can see it as well. But you can track your BBs up to the full extent of their trajectory and even watch them fall with this flashlight. So I really su suggest it. I got this one off Weapons Blender. Again, it's the uh, Trust Fire. And it's the XML 1600LM. It's supposed to be 1600 lumens. Um, it's definitely not 1600, but it is way above any of the 300 and 500s that I've ever seen. So. Anyway, uh, check it out if you want a good flashlight, want to impress people. I mean, this doesn't even have to be for airsoft use. I use it for walking around camping. So, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching.